this is a topic I've been wanting to speak about for a long time. So, uh, Dr. Karen Gordon is here. She's brought it to the table. Sarah. This. It's about boys and masculinity and this idea of boys and confidence and masculinity and stereotypes and how they're feeling about what is happening in their world right now. Oh, it's interesting. So any mom, father, moms of boys, pay attention to this study. Basically surveyed 15 to 25 year olds to really understand what are the views of masculinity with guys. And it is really interesting. So okay. pay attention to this. Seven out of 10 boys in this, in this age bracket, 15 to 25, said that they have been told that masculine is strong, confident, and assertive. Yeah. Okay. The problem is that the majority of these men, these young men, don't connect to that one-dimensional stereotype, mm -hmm. and but they feel pressure to conform to it. Yes. But instead, they would uh, they connect more to creative, ah. humble, athletic. Okay. So there is a shift that is happening with the stereotypes of what is what we would have been viewed as masculinity. Masculinity. Okay. Yeah. So that was one part of the study that I felt really interesting. The second part is that 69% of um, of men or young men who have strong friendships mm -hmm. feel more comfortable to praise each other. So as women, this is interesting, as women we can praise each other. I mean like, girl, the, you look good. All the time. Right? Like, all the time. Look at that outfit, right? Yes. We can, with no problem. Mm -hmm. There's an unspoken code for a lot of guys that they can't praise. Mm. And you'll see this as a difference. If you are a mom of sons versus daughters, you will see a gender difference. There's like an unspoken code. Yes. And so what the study found, 69% of boys that actually feel uh, who have a strong sense of friendship mm -hmm. are more comfortable to praise up their friends okay. compared to 19%. Uh, who don't have a strong uh, supportive friendship. So their relationship with friendships and their confidence is very correlated with how much they can actually compliment other people. So it's not, so the trend is not that, is the trend that they are complimenting each other more or is the stat just that if you have a close relationship, you are more likely to compliment It is your that friend. if you are, well it's both. It's that basically okay. if they feel more confident, they're more likely, they feel more comfortable now to praise it. Where let's say 20 years ago in our generation, we might have felt comfortable with friendships, but we still would, would not have done it. Got it. Okay, so there's okay. a shift that's actually happening around this, the, you know, just around masculinity with what that actually looks like, which I think is actually really exciting. Well, it is, and I mean, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, I, I, I probably am not that surprised because yeah. the landscape has shifted. Totally, yes. There used to be um, this idea that men went out and they were breadwinners or they were working with their hands or they were doing things that were physically laborious yes. and there was this whole idea of masculinity having that tough toughness to it mm -hmm. um, and we see that those roles are shifting so so much of manufacturing so much yes. of the jobs where you're actually using your physical labor have gone way outside of the continent so we are in a service industry we're artistic we're right. you know they're graphic designers they're artists they're so coders they're computer they're programmers. programmers they're, they're like they're starting up their own websites yes so things have shifted um, you have brought uh, a couple of um, young men down to the show with you today Today, I Karen, sure and did. Love this. So Chris and Minjay are here. Give them a big <laughs> 18 years old, and I want uh, I want to get your sort of reflections on what Karen has been saying about the stats. Do you agree about those statistics, Minjay? Uh -huh. Um, yes, I think those stats are pretty much correct. Yes. I won't disagree with them. And yeah, agree. it's yeah, that's what I'm seeing in daily life. Like as as you develop more close relationships, there is a tendency to see more compliments and have like a better attitude towards each other. What, is there an unspoken rule for guys when it comes to complimenting each other? Like, do you just not do that? Um, I think the natural inclination is there is. Mm -hmm. There is an unspoken rule amongst everybody, I think. It's not just amongst guys, it's just, like for example, I can say, Chris, I like your watch. It's <laughs> more common amongst girls to like compliment each other about things like that, but I think there is an unspoken rule. Like Chris was mentioning earlier, like guys really like talking about shoes, for example. Uh -huh. Like you're like, oh, nice kicks, Chris. Like, <laughs> it's like something that happens. So yes. I think there's an unspoken rule, but I think it's starting to die out. I think yeah. it's starting to become, it's starting to get sidelined and people right. are just being more comfortable with each other and people are talking about more things. And the plate, like I'm seeing it change a lot is in close friendships. Like if you don't know someone, very rarely will you see compliment each other. But as soon as you get comfortable, 
then you start to see the confidence come out. So it's really in those close relationships that you see the dynamics starting to change. Interesting, eh? Mm -hmm. And the other thing that we were chatting about earlier, which I found very interesting, is that they were saying that this whole generation, their generation, they have been, they're very curious. Mm -hmm. They explore. And so they push the envelope a little bit. And can you speak at all about the uh, the pressure that you feel about, like, the, the masculine, like, what, with what I was actually saying, that, that, that masculine feeling, like, okay, I feel like we're, we're supposed to be that, but we don't really kind of connect to that. Does that kind of yeah. make sense to you? Well, there's still, like, a common topic amongst men and like men of this age group is working out and how much do you bench how much do you lift mm -hmm. stuff like that and but we don't we're starting to not value ourselves in that way we're starting to value is like how much do you care for how how nice are you how much do you compliment each other there are still like societal pressures that pressure you to be like machismoistic aggressive like that kind of mm -hmm. traditional inclination of a stereotypical like male image but it's not really applicable anymore. We're like very much moving forward and we're just trying to be good people as opposed to like being good men or good women or. Isn't that interesting? That is so it is interesting. so, you can feel it, right? You can feel so it like that. that. You can, it's like that center it's that yeah. interesting. It's very good. Thank you. You've got some tips for yes. us because we talk about praising, praising up, but there is a significance to doing this because yes. it's sort of like you are, um, you're showing emotion. You're more yes. in touch with your emotion. Yeah. Um, you are more likely to be able to be in touch with vulnerability. Yes. You're saying, I'm going to give you something. I'm going to offer you yes. something and it's a compliment. So yeah. it, it says a lot about a person that can do that. Totally agree. You've yeah. got tips, uh, for the, for viewers out there yeah, watching. Yeah. So a couple of really, really practical tips. I always like practical takeaway from research. So then, Number one, ask your husbands about this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go home and ask your husband, or your spouse. Boyfriend, or, or boyfriend, or boyfriend, or par yes. partners. partners, your sons, and say, what do you actually think about this? Do you yeah. actually agree? The, uh, my husband and I had some really interesting conversations around this, and he echoed a lot of the similar things. And it just, we started having a very meaningful conversation. I also had it with my 10-year-old boys. Yeah. And you could hear, you can hear the difference. It's, t it's, it's like they are exactly, as Chris said, it's like that they are valuing things different mm -hmm. than we did actually 20 years ago. So tip number one is actually talk to your husbands and your sons about it, number one. Mm -hmm. And number two, encourage them to praise. Mm -hmm. Just make that, say, really make that as an encouragement to praise up. And so since this research came across my desk, I've been intentional to say to my boys, you know, like, let's praise up. And it's really, it's really interesting. They're actually starting to say that language, praise up, you know, let, let's pray, you know, praise up. You're not praising me, you're praise up. And so mm -hmm. we want to make sure that we're not getting false praise because there has yeah, been make criticism. make it genuine, please. There's been for sure that you can't be, it's all about praise. You have right. to certainly be learning how to give constructive criticism as well. Totally. It's always going to be about the balance, but I think as a good, a good general rule, but do it publicly. You can do it on social media. There's a whole movement that's now happening mm -hmm. on social media around mm -hmm. really trying to praise each other, mm -hmm. and that really shows the signs of confidence, that we feel so confident that we feel good that I can I can lift up somebody else. Absolutely. Yeah. What a great sign that things are changing, and I would say in the right direction. In the right, absolutely. Right? Yes. Really good tips. Thanks for that, Karen.